Hello everyone and welcome to a bonus stuffing. I am actually two stuffings behind, so I'm gonna be stuffing my 100 envelope savings challenge boxes. It will be a shorter video, but I wanted to be able to get this stuffed, um, otherwise this money will be used for other things or I'll just forget, and so I don't wanna do that. I wanna be responsible. So if you're interested, um, I hope you'll stick around, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, you know, do all of the things. These are in my Etsy shop. Um, there are many challenges. I'll go through that. Um, so let's see, I think I have around $96. And let me explain. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. This money comes from Etsy and or YouTube. Um, I have, I'm not selling as many of these as I usually do. And so I'm kind of spreading this money out, rationing it out, so to speak, to around $120 a week. Sometimes I would do $120 in a day, right? But I'm patient. I wanted to tell you that if you are thinking about doing an Etsy shop, that's what happens. It's slow and go, and then sometimes you have these enormous piles of orders. And then um, for me, I took some time off, and that really hurt my um, maybe my algorithm or what was going on, but that's okay. I have faith. I'm still making these envelopes as if... I was selling five or six a week, as opposed to right now I'm selling about one or two a week. But that's not, it's, and I'm only saying that to you because people ask me all the time, you know, how do you get your Etsy shop going? Do you ever have slow weeks and whatnot? Yes, I have digital downloads that are consistently being purchased, you know, which might be five or $10 a day, maybe more. But this is something that is pretty labor intensive. And so I just kind of stock up on these. I'm hoping over Christmas, um, maybe at New Year's when people are starting over with their budgeting, they, you might be so inclined to purchase. But um, anyway, have faith in yourself. If you love what you do, you won't ever work a day in your life. I love making these. They're so labor intensive, but I'm weird like that. I don't mind cutting and folding and, you know, laminating. It's just fun. So I think there should be 96 here. So 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. A6, A7, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. So with $120, I've already done the math, 10% of this is going to go to um, debt. So let me show you what I do. I don't keep all of this as profit, okay? Let me get my notebooks back out. So is debt, I never can remember where I put it. Yes, so 10% of this is gonna go to debt, which is $12. I guess I should kind of organize this, huh? Anyway, there we go. Slow and steady wins the race. These um, 100 envelope savings challenge boxes are what I call the beast. I call them budget with cat boxes, but they are the beast because they, unless you are um, stuffing hundreds of dollars in them a week, it's, it's hard. It's hard for them to add up. So, well, it just takes a long time. So you just have to be patient, and I'm patient, because I've done this once before, um, and I like this system. I, right now, I'm only bringing home 40% profit, but that's okay, because 10% is going to debt. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 68, 368. Yep, almost 400. And I will take this money and apply it toward a credit card. So that'll help boost the money that I'm paying on my credit card right now. Okay, 24 of it, which is 20%, stays in the bank and it helps to pay for lamination of film, um, packaging, like tissue paper and things of that nature, just supplies. And 36, which is 30%, is gonna go to income tax. Okay, 30% of what I make. Now that might be high for some people. Some people say they do only put in 20%. I'm putting in 30%. So here's 20 five, 35, 36. And the reason why I do that is because my husband and I are a little bit older and we don't have a lot of tax breaks anymore except for this business, right? So we end up paying a little bit more in taxes. Unfortunately, as you get older, um, you either have to make no money so that you don't have to pay income tax or you gotta pay. So, so far in income tax, I have one, two, three, four, five. 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, 600, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 609. And I think this year in taxes, I don't mind telling you, I paid about $3,000 and all of that was saved over the course of a year. So I'm very proud of that. I didn't have to come out of savings. I didn't have to charge it. 
and then I saved for it. So these small denominations are gonna go in here, and I figured out that I wanna put only fives, two fives in this, and these are not organized. So this is another 100 envelope savings challenge box. Um, I feel like a broken record. They are smaller, so they have like the little peekaboo at the top. This one, um, you can number them one to 100. I'll do that for you. You can leave them blank. You can um, ask for specifics. So for example, I had somebody order the 100 envelopes, but that she wanted them numbered one through 25 four times, right? I think Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me is doing that. She's using my envelopes, my big envelopes. She has her own tracker, so she pulls any envelope she wants. It doesn't matter about the number, and she's using her tracker to do the one through 25 four times. So you can use these envelopes any way you want. I recommend um, either not numbering them and then finding trackers that go with 100, or numbering them so you have them for the one to 100, but ignoring it if you need to. So for example, my son Will had the black, white, and gray ones. He has those. He just puts $20 in each envelope. He doesn't care how they're numbered. You end up with 2,000. This is um, fives, tens, fifteens, twenties, and fifties, and it adds up to 2,000. So I could put 20 in each, or I can spread it out. I hope that makes sense. So let me find them. This is the mixed variety, so it would be patterns, and florals. Um, so, oh, there's an extra five that's in there. Oh, bonus, let me put this here. Um, they will have paper on both sides. These are one of the original ones I did. When I originally started doing this, here's one and here's two. I did a clear back, which I actually like, but man, that takes a lot of extra time. So there uh, is a mixed pattern one. There is black, white, and gray, if you like those. And then I also have pretty in pink. So there are different varieties of pinks or pink hues, right? So there's more fives. And I think what I'll do eventually is when all these fives fill up, maybe the fives and the tens, I'll move them up to the fifties because it's hard to fill fifties. Okay, so what's left now should be $38. And I'm actually gonna skip around and I'm gonna put in an 18 and a 20. So, there's 18, and here's 20. Okay, so let's count that out. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, and this should be 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, okay. So, there's 18. Here is 20. And to be honest with you, um, when the box starts getting full, if you, like, for example, if you put little amounts in here over and over again, if you have like $95 and you do them all in fives, eventually it will get so full, um, which is fine. I had to put a few of the envelopes on top, if that makes sense. Um, and at one point, I think I did a little bill exchange where I took thick envelopes like this of 20 and put in a $20 bill just so that it would um, allow for room. And let's see, what I do with, here it is. So 18 and 20, I'm gonna color it in like so. 18 and 20. I'm just gonna try my best to fill up this row, the second row of 12 through 22, and then I'll go down to probably to the 33s or 40s, and then I'm gonna bump all this money down, and it'll, if I'm lucky, it'll fill up one row but um, I just don't have the abundance of money right now um, to put any more of that than that in there, if that makes sense. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, these two trackers, this tracker comes with both of these. So I think that's it. Yeah, Fast and Furious, you guys. Have a great rest of your week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.